Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Watch, I've gotten really good at this. <laughs> Get Benny, he's almost uh, here. You're asking for trouble. Stupid mail, stupid sunshine. Come to Papa. <laughs> here. Arf, 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 arf. Very funny, dog. You got a real weird bark, you know that? Hey, dog! Here's something to make some noise about. It's a letter from the vet. Ha <laughs> ha! Wait, did he say letter from the vet? Yep, it's a letter from the vet, all right. See, that's his necklace. And a letter from the vet is never good. Yeah. Maybe it's time for sure, or maybe our ears are too long. Maybe he wants to cut them off. Yeah. Or maybe he just figured out who we are. Yeah. Huh? No. no. Oh. What did you do that for? What if they were expecting that letter? They'll blame the mailman. The post office never makes a mistake. Everybody knows that. Oh no, it was us! I mean you! Huh? Ah! <laughs> Calm down, everybody, cause I got it all worked out. See, this is a good thing. You heard me. A good thing. We replace the letter in Sam's stomach with a brand new one, a better one. A letter that will say whatever we want. Mm -hmm. We'll pretend it's from the vet and we'll say that we're in perfect health and that he never needs to see us again. Yay! <laughs> I'm all for no more vet visits, but how are you going to write a letter? How are you going to write period? Hmm. Vic, I think you're forgetting I'm a super slick fox. I mean, if I can manage this, I can figure out how to write. Yeah, how hard can writing be? Go for it. But so you know, it's got to be on the vet's special paper. The one that has his little necklace on it. Uh-oh. Really? Yep. Otherwise, they'll know it's a fake. No biggie. Where do we get some? In his office. <laughs> Yeah. <gasps> Great! Point the way. It's at the corner, by the coffee shop. Got it! Sam, you're coming with me. Me? To the vet? I don't want to run into the vet. Like I do? But someone <laughs> ate the letter. I think you guys should all go. Safety in numbers, right? Well, I guess you're right. Let's go. Adventure should take all day. <sighs> now what? How do we get in? We came all the way and we can't even get into the building. Wait! I think I see a solution to our problem. Quick, act normal. <laughs> I said normal like animal pets. <laughs> Modi, it'll be fine. You don't need all those teeth anymore. <laughs> that dog doesn't need all his teeth. What kind of place is this? <laughs> uh, 
We each have to pick one human to walk inside with. And don't forget what you have to do once you're there. Let's replace those disgusting old teeth of yours. Look at my dog, John. All new teeth. No pain. He looks like a puppy again. You're a big kitty. Look at that big nose of yours. <laughs> and your teeth, they stick out. Weird. Where on earth am I going to find this? Look, big kitty. This is my hamster, Oscar. Oscar, say hi to big kitty. Hello. Oh, Oscar, he always faints. <laughs> Mio! Mio! Here we have our top model. These would make old Moldy look like a movie star. Now think about it. I'll grab the forms for you to sign. Come on, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm going to make you look good and young again. Hi there, nice little rabbit. What's going on? What's all the noise back there? Why is he barking? Oh, Oscar. Vet papers and vet envelopes must be worth a fortune, so he would hide them. I must think like a vet. Where would I, a vet, hide them? Bone wasn't enough. I need some pills to calm him. They're in your office, Doctor. Oh, yes, of course. I almost forgot. Yeah. Yeah. This cat needs to have these two teeth out as soon as possible. They're probably infected. And that fur, it's so wet and sticky. Whose pet is this? Who brought a sick animal in here? <sighs> of course, in my vet desk. Aha! Hmm? Ah, bingo! Weird cat needs to be sedated right now. Ah! 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 We've got to save Sam. Ah! Ah! Yuck! He's sicker than I thought. But stop moving like that. Pets are in perfect health. And I, their vet, do not need to see them ever again. Yay, Washington! Thank you, thank you. What can I say? I'm a natural. Can we add and give them plenty of snacks? Easy. And give them plenty of snacks. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Signed, the vet.
that? Yay, Yay Washington! <laughs> You're here! these red envelopes. What's the letter about, honey? I... Uh... <laughs> I'm not really sure. See for yourself. What on earth? This handwriting is terrible, even for a doctor. <laughs> okay, so I need to practice. I'm gonna call the vet to see what's going on. Whoa, look! Yeah. Cheap drink, Bush! And of course, we appreciate you taking the time to write, Doctor, but perhaps you could tell me what you wrote? Oh, yes, the letter. I ran into the mailman last week. He told me that Washington has a rather strange bark. Oh, dear! Maybe we should bring him in. Yeah. Why don't you? I'm offering 50% off all my doses all by uh, Oh! <laughs> Finally, a perfect morning. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Tell me when to stop, okay? <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> Meow. Arf, arf. Oh, is Sam Sam arf, hungry? Arf. I thought I'd just opened that this morning. Uh, that'll be enough for you today. Enjoy your meal. Ten second rule. Sam? Sam? Sam! Someone shrunk my costume. Someone shrunk it. Get back in your suit right now. If you don't, everybody will notice that you're not a cat but a big fat boar. <laughs> You guys, Sam's costume doesn't fit anymore. Give me a hand, fast. <laughs> Sam, enunciate. Uh, I think he says I'm suffocating. <laughs> You've got to fight for your right to get back into costume. Come on! No, Sam! No, Sam! Master pal! Hey! Where are you going? Whoa, man. What's all the racket? Come on, Sam. Your training's not over. Well, I'll be. You. A pig that meows. Arf, 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 arf. Arf, 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 arf. It, go away with your weird bark. <laughs> Sam needs our help! 
fast! Yippee! <laughs> I love that toy. Hmm. I love my life. Don't panic, Sam. I'm going to get you out. We're going to hoist you over. Honey! Who wants a treat? <laughs> Hang on tight, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I love that toy. Good boy. Get it, honey bunch. Sam, what about your diet? You don't understand. You're just a skinny fox. I hate squeezing into my costume, and I like eating cookies. Huh? Ree, ree. Miss Treat likes the real me. But Sam, the warmth of a cookie can't compare to the warmth of a family. Well... There you go, honey bunch! <laughs> I'd rather leave than see any more of this. Farewell, Sam. Ah, there you are. But where's Sam? Sam? <laughs> Sam, no. you! No! Ah, Sam. Are you okay, boy? You look slim. Wait a minute. I've got something for you. Wow, Sam. You look slim and trim. Think it's me, Washington in disguise. <laughs> How does Sam do it? It's exhausting. <laughs> I need to take a break. Honey, where's Washington? Hmm? Washington? Washington! 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 Say you want ham, say you want lunch, there's only one name that's honey bunch. Say you want ham, say you want lunch, there's only, only one, one name, name that's honey, honey bunch. bunch. Come here, honey bunch, my little lunch. <sighs> Looks like somebody's putting on weight. <laughs> here we go, the diet talk. Well done, my friend. Enjoy! You can eat one more, can't you, piggy boy? This is great! Washington? Oh no! I'd rather leave than see any more of this. It's all my fault that he left! This was his first birthday with us. I looked really cute that day. Maybe somewhere along the way, we stopped showing Washington how much we love him. Oh, honey, you're great. It's me. I've been too wrapped up in my work. Group hug! <laughs> no cookie can compare to Washington, even if it is insanely, unbelievably delicious. Washington, you just hang in there. I'm gonna bring you back home. Honey? Honey Bunch! Where are you, ham to be? Oh. <laughs> Where do you think you're going, you little piece of fat ham? What the? Say, isn't that the nickname that lady gave to Sam? Honey Bunch? Yep! So that means Sam is going to be on TV! Yes! yes! Uh, no, not exactly. He's going to be in the oven! She's going to turn him into a big fat ham? No! Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh. Sam, come back. Come on, Vic. It's good karma. I think Victoria wants a cuddle, dear. 
Say you want ham, say you want lunch. There's only one name that's honey but Sam! <sighs> Washington, help! Let's go home, buddy. What's all that racket? Whoa, man! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's my costume. Not bad, right? Ah! Pastor Sam, she wants you for dinner. Come back here, honey bunch. The oven is preheated. <laughs> Pastor Sam, faster. Come on, I'm here for you, buddy. Focus. No, 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 Sam. Faster, she's gaining on us. This is our chance. Yeah. <laughs> Sam, you're a genius. Uh, really? <laughs> there you are. <coughs> Meow. Just a big alley cat. Oh. Honey bunch? <laughs> a fox? <gasps> Stay away, varmint. Stay away. Oh, I'm sorry, Wash. I'll never be so selfish anymore. <sighs> Don't worry, Sam. The most important thing is that we're still best friends. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Honey, look who's home. Give me a hug, my sweet little doggy. <laughs> P.U. Somebody smells like garbage. <laughs> P.U., you, you stink. Right. Okay, starting now, it's all about motivation. New eating habits, new Sam. Huh? Ah! Oh, Sam! <laughs> new me. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. We'll be back tonight, pets! Be good! No fighting! To the backyard! Last one, there's a rotten egg! What? A rotten egg so easily? Vic, aren't you coming? No, why would I hang with you and do something when I could hang out with me and do nothing? What should we play first? Hide and hog seek! It's like you read my mind! Or I just wanted to play the same game as you. <laughs> okay, buddy, you hide first. <laughs> You'll never find me! But Sam, we can totally see you. Shh! Ooh. <laughs> where, oh, where could Sam be? Hmm. It's like he's vanished. <laughs> You're not very good at this game. There you are. 
<laughs> Excellent yeah. high job, buddy. Yeah. Best friend, paw shake. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, what are they doing? Oh, that's just their super elaborate best friend paw shake. They've been working on it for months. It's gotten out of hand. Whenever there's something to celebrate, we have to wait while they do this. <laughs> what I believe the hairball hawker means to say is that dogs and cats should not get along, let alone have best friends' paw shakes. You don't know what I mean, dumb dog. Stop putting words in my mouth. What are those nerds up to? <sighs> I should do something about this, but... <sighs> oh, at least we don't do our business in a tiny indoor sandbox. That Pretty high and mighty coming from someone who sniffs butts. <laughs> See? That is the proper exchange for a cat and a dog. Not that. Yeah? <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I think those two weren't really a cat and dog at all, but rather uncultured wild beasts. <gasps> That's the one thing we can agree on, Fuzz Bucket. Something's not right. What? Of course we're a cat yeah. and a dog. This isn't a paw shake, we're fighting. Uh, Sam, we need to talk. I had no idea cats and dogs aren't supposed to get along. Duh, of course they aren't. Any domesticated pet could tell you that. So, that's why you're always so unfriendly to me. No, that's just because you're annoying. Right, but if I were a cat... Nope. Don't like other cats either. I like me. What are you guys gonna do? You're best friends! But if you act like it, the neighbors might find out that we're not who we say we are. She's right. You two better go out there and show those pets that you can't stand each other. Otherwise, they'll get suspicious. Okay, Sam. It's not gonna be easy, but from now on, we are mortal enemies. Why? What did I do? Sam, we're just pretending for the neighbors. Right. I'm gonna have some trouble remembering that. It's hard not to look at you and not think, friends. We'll help you out. All right, so here's the plan. The first thing we need to do is remember that we absolutely... Wow, Sam and Wash just can't stand each other these days. What will they do to each other next? Yeah, their fights are getting delicious. I, I mean, vicious. Vicious, huh? This I have to see. Okay, Sam, that's your cue. You can do this, Sam. You've seen Nick do it a hundred times. <laughs> this isn't gross. It doesn't bother me that I can taste everything that I stepped in today. Here I am, a cat doing what a cat does, hoping no dog bothers me. Arf, arf! <coughs> woof, woof! <laughs> Washington, you scared me half to death. Why would you do that? <clears throat> because you're fighting. Yo, Ray, you're my enemy, cat. Yo, oh, yeah, you make me so mad. <sighs> and also hungry. Sam! But mostly mad. This isn't a fight. This is barely a quibble. We're losing them. You should be thanking me for the exercise, you lazy furbag! Oh, good one. <laughs> Sam, wait! I'm sorry! I knew it! They are friends! What is going on here? That's the most pathetic cat and dog fight in history. The only part I bought was that Sam's feelings were hurt. That's because they were. Sam, I didn't mean it. We were just putting on a show. It's not real. It felt real to me. Well, that's because I'm a fantastic actor. But we gotta get back out there and convince them once and for all that we can't stand each other. Sam, most important, you have to insult him back. We cats are known for our great comebacks. Show me your best mean face, Sam. Foaming at the mouth. Nice touch. 
Ew, that's just drool. I'm still hungry. That's it! I have an idea! Follow my lead! Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> I stole your favorite blanket, and now I'm gonna ruin it! Some catnip. You cats love it. Yo, uh, yes, we cats do love ketchup. Catnip. Yeah, catnip. Uh, I guess there's only one thing to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> Silly cat, that wasn't catnip. It was poison ivy. Uh? No! Could you? See? Cats can never outsmart a dog. <laughs> Oh, no. I'm not letting those two make cats look like idiots. Hey, Sam. Psst. Mm -hmm. Tell Washington that. <laughs> you may have tricked me, but at least I don't do cheap tricks for treats. What? <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. Score what for cats? Hey, Sam, I may have to do tricks for treats, but at least I don't have to share my treats with fleas. Yeah. I'd rather have fleas than worms. What? I do not have worms. Dogs are worms. Yeah, I mean, dogs are worms. <laughs> what? That's right. Hit him where it hurts. The only worm I know is you, and you're a furry worm at that. Glad I could help. Whoa, whoa. Ah. 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 I think they forgot about us. Yep, that ought to distract them for a while. We can finally give up this stupid act. But I'm just getting the hang of it. <laughs> Not that I like it. You're my best friend no matter what. And you're mine. I only have feelings of awesomeness toward you. What is all this commotion? <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at those cats and dogs fight. They're like wild animals. Thank goodness you guys aren't like that. You're civilized. See? I say that as long as the elves are convinced, we're free to be besties. Yay! Best friend pushing? No, it'll take too long. Couldn't you guys celebrate a little shorter? I'll settle for a hug. Come on, buddy, let's go inside. Last one there's a monkey's uncle. What's so bad about that? I'd love to have a nephew with an endless supply of bananas. Must I do everything myself? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. 
the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Beloved beasts. Whoever gets there first gets to sleep in the living stone's bed. One, two, three, go! <laughs> How come I've lived here the longest and I'm on the floor? Vic, relax. We're sleeping indoors. You know what's a bad bed? A porcupine. Pointy, and they snore. But I've done it. Thanks to the wild, I can sleep through anything. Well, I need a pillow. Not too soft, but... <laughs> He's already asleep, isn't he? And dreaming. Beat it, you bandit-faced dumpster divers! We're trying to sleep! <laughs> <laughs> Way to chase off those raccoons, Wash. <sighs> Is Mr. L mad at Washington about the raccoons? Naturally, dogs are supposed to chase off raccoons, but Washington blew it. Now, if you'll excuse me. I caught the spot on the couch by Mrs. L's feet. Oh, no! If Wash doesn't chase off the raccoons, Mr. L might kick us out. <laughs> I'm overreacting when I should be over overreacting. <laughs> Wake up, Wash. Our lives are over. Hey, I thought I asked you for a 9 a.m. wake up. We have a situation. Listen, Mr. L will kick us out if you don't chase off those scary raccoons. I can chase off raccoons. I chased off way worse back in the wild. You did? Technically, I was chased by way worse in the wild. But no worries, I got this. Time's up, boys. Buffet's closed. Don't gotta go home, but you can't eat here. Oh. I said... <laughs> Arf! <laughs> Yo, I think that dog swallowed his squeaky toy. <laughs> Hit the road. All your racket's making me tired, and you won't like me when I'm tired. Rah! <laughs> <laughs> Go cover your ears with your doggy sweater, fancy paws. My paws aren't fancy. Sure, my nails are trimmed bi-weekly, but... Rah! Time for a magic trick. Want to see me pull a fox out of a dog? <laughs> for my next trick, I'll need a volunteer. Wow! You a fox? Like a wild fox? Yo, I don't want no trouble. Are we cool? We didn't know you had a long con going on here. No disrespect, Ro. Just let us grab some food for the road. Still got my wild side. Yo, is it true what they say about indoor pets? Yep, fresh food from a can, twice a day, every day. You're living the dream, man. Hey, want to take a break from fancy living and run with us tonight? Yeah, this place has some of the tastiest gutters in the world. Well, it sounds great, but I can't. My humans wake up in a few hours, and I have this bone I'm working on. You sure, bro? <laughs> Ooh, you know you can't say no to me. <laughs> What's one night? Put him in a trash bag here, Ricky. <laughs> What's in the rocket? Sure. <laughs> 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 
Adios, Hermanos. It was fun. Are you okay? Did they hurt you? Blink once for yes, blink twice for... I'm in too much pain to blink. I'm okay. Don't worry, Sam. You smell like trash, both literal and animal varieties. Guys, relax. The Rack Pack is cool. The who and the what? That's the raccoon gang's name, the Rack Pack. Pretty sweet, huh? You know, once you get past the fleas and the farting, they're good guys. Yo, Foxy Washington, you hear? Garbage thief, germ carrier! <laughs> Victoria, heal! Down. Wanna run with us again tonight? Found the Taco Shacks dumpster! Oh, I do like day-old tacos. I do <coughs> like tacos too, but it's bedtime. Bedtime is for dogs, which I guess makes it okay for you. <laughs> Knock it off. I'll be out in a sec. Did you actually join the raccoon gang? Sam, I don't want to hang out with the Rack Pack again, but I need to make sure they hang out away from here to keep Mr. L happy and preserve our safety. You don't want to have to go back to the woods and eat acorns, do you? No, okay, but don't let them give you a tattoo, like mine. Uh, don't worry, I'm a total professional. I'd say look what the cat dragged in, but I wouldn't touch you with Sam's claws. Please, I'm a total professional. <sighs> Why, hello, Washington. Is it tummy rub time in tummy rub town? <laughs> wow, good trick. It's like play dead only as play scary. <sighs> Someone's getting sloppy. Washington, we need to talk. This isn't easy for me to say, especially as I'm thirsty right now and my mouth is dry, but the raccoon is bringing out your wild side, and your wild side is a big jerk. Hmm? Nap time, again. He almost blew our cover and he doesn't even care. Okay, time for plan B. Which is? Whatever I think of next. <laughs> Ha! Oh. Wash, we need to talk. Your wild side is starting to show. We could get kicked out. Oh, you guys. I have my wild side under control. I can stop any time. You almost beat Mr. L this morning. And I've smelled used litter boxes fresher than you. Excuse me? I defend our garbage and safety by making sure the raccoons eat everyone else's. You want me in that trash? You need me in that trash if you don't want Mr. L to toss us out. We need you in a bath. But Wash, if you keep acting wild, the living stones will kick us out. I can't go back to the forest. It's wet. It's cold. There's no TV. No more talk. Time for action. Ah, I could do action. You make weapons from twigs? And feathers! Whoa. If Wash won't do it, I'll chase off those raccoons once and for all. Be my best friend alone! <laughs> Your best friend is a trash can? Uh, no, Washington. I won't let you ruin his life one second more. Who wants hot dogs? Okay, his life might not look ruined, but... Go back inside, fancy fur. Don't call me fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, your pie hole fools. Dive raccoons best be leaving our hood. That's street slang, right? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just get ketchup on my fur? That don't come out. Yeah, not until it shakes. Back off, fellas. No way, bro. It's go time. Hey, I wasn't asking. 
Sure, these indoor pets might not be tough and maybe have ridiculously clean fur. Was that aimed at me? But they are my best friends! You, your words have touched us. In the butt! Beat it, Blamo! You're out of the game! You, cut! Belly dance for us! Belly dance? Yeah, I'm better at that. Belly, Belly dance! dance. <laughs> now do the worm! <laughs> hey, Ricky, uh, Fox is back. And these foemen! <laughs> ah, crazy fox dog! That ain't a fox, that's a freak! Run, ah! run, run! <laughs> it was just so... I'm sorry, guys. I don't need to run with those raccoons. I already got the best gang ever. No more wild side? <laughs> wow, you really do need a bath. And that's coming from a hog. Hmm? <laughs> Just a sec, guys. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Today is the day! Wiener Fest! <laughs> we won't be back until late! Did you hear that? Yeah. We have the house to ourselves all day! Huh? I call dibs on the couch! No way! And Wash, I'm counting on you to be my watchdog, okay? <laughs> okay, boy. Scare away all those burglars. Burglars? For real? Like on TV? Oh. Hmm. <sighs> Nap time. Yay! Oh. Nap time! Bro. Are you too nuts or what? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wash, go away! And if I find you, you're a big, fat, rotten pestle sprout! Sorry, Sam. I've got to focus. What? Oh, come on! You're gone for hours! This is our chance! Yeah, well, that was before Mr. Livingstone asked me to protect the house from burglars. No. <gasps> burglars? You mean like on TV? Uh, yeah. I guess so. Burgers? Are we scared of burgers now? Duh! You... Burglars! Like thieves who go into houses and steal people's stuff. There have been a bunch of burglaries in the neighborhood. Thieves have been stealing all the pet squeak toys. Their kibble. But most of all, the TV set! <laughs> Sam, I'm the watchdog. I've got this. <laughs> Watchdog, you? You think you can protect this house with your ridiculous bark? First of all, I've made some major progress with my barks. And second, I know how it's done. I've seen watchdogs on TV. All I have to do is make the rounds and secure the perimeter. Wow, he is like so brave. I want to be a watchdog too. Let's go watch TV and see how it's Shall we get some popcorn first? All right. No one. Nobody in here. Nobody here either. Nobody here either. Uh... 
So there's burglars trying to get into the house and there's no reason we should be worried? Of course there's no reason to be worried. Wash is here to protect us. in the door. We're locked out. Maybe, just maybe, the door isn't completely closed. Maybe it will open all by itself. Friends, I have secured the perimeter. There isn't a burglar alive who'll be able to break in here. Ah! Someone is trying to get into the house. If you hadn't secured the perimeter, I'd even say it sounds like a... A burglar! A burglar? Wait a sec. This may all be a mistake. I'm going to try all my keys. You never know. Just a visitor. Where are the living stones? Let's look through the mail slot. It is a burglar. A visitor would ring the bell, yeah. and the owls have keys. Burglars, cool. Go, wash, go, save us. Yes, risk everything. Um, actually, you see, I'm not really sure how to. Well, um, I secured the perimeter, but uh, I don't know what comes next. Bark, Wash, bark! That's what watchdogs do. But I don't know how to bark. You said so yourself. I take back everything I said. Please bark, pretty please, make those horrible burglars go away. Go, go away, away Wash! Do it, please! <laughs> ah, arf, 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 wolf, wolf, arf. Yeah? Oh, yeah. we're sconers! They're gonna steal our toys, and kibble, and TV! Rush, I want you to know you're the best watchdog we've ever met! Even oh. though we've never met another watchdog! <clears throat> but he's not a watchdog, and for once in my life, I really wish I were wrong. Okay, so maybe I'm not a watchdog, but I am going to protect you! Listen up! Here's what we're gonna do. You guys are gonna go my and I'm gonna... Oh, I'm gonna try the kitchen door. Maybe if I can wiggle through the cat flap, I'll be able to reach the key. <gasps> yeah! What happened to you? You know, I really wish you'd start putting your tools away. And do we keep flour in the bedroom? Uh, okay. Let's try the bathroom. <laughs> ah! oh. oh, why, oh, why did I put all my bath stuff above the window? not be a watchdog, but I sure know a thing or two about watching TV. <laughs> oh, 
No, Wash! Calm down now! Calm down! It's me! You can't believe a burglar! He's imitating Mr. L's voice, so we'll let him in! I couldn't get in through the front door, and Washington didn't even recognize me! And I gotta tell you, his bark is freaking me out! <sighs> big problems require big solutions. Hello, Mr. Locksmith? Well, those stupid burglars won't be coming back anytime soon. Oh! Who's the greatest watchdog? Watchdog! Who's the greatest watchdog? This is not good. The burglars have brought backup! Yeah, that was some major tools to open the door! to do. Eugenie, Sam, we gotta zip out of our costumes. What? The burglars won't expect to see wild animals in the house. If we can scare them, then we're home free. Me too, I'm gonna take off my costume. <laughs> Did you open the door? How much do we owe you? Forget it, it's free. As long as you promise to never call me again! The living stones are back! Quick! Darlings! We're home! Good dog! Good dog! What a great watchdog you are, Washington! Unbelievable! I almost wonder if he didn't understand when I told him to protect the house. Oh, no! Beware of dog! I never realized what a great watchdog Wash is. It's only fair to warn intruders they don't stand a chance around here. <laughs> Did you hear that, Vic? Beware of dog! So, who was it that said I was no watchdog, huh? Honey, you coming? We're gonna be late! Coming, dear! Taco Fest, here we come! Adios! Hey! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. My favorite time of the year! <laughs> Don't forget the sunscreen! <laughs> What's up, Vic? Oh, don't you know? It's summer vacation. The oh, elves oh. and I go away every year, and it's pretty great. Yeah? What's so great about it? Mm, relaxation, duh. Do you know how exhausting it is being a house cat all year round? But if you don't like lounging around all day and 24-hour access to an all-you-can-eat buffet, then you wouldn't like it. Ooh, an all-you-can-eat what? Did you just say what I think you said? We're going too, right? Of course. You can't very well stay home by yourselves, can you? Look, the pets are all lined up and ready to roll. Good thing, too. We've got to get you guys to the kennel. Oh, huh? the kennel. That's right. The vet said to arrive by noon. The k -k 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 kennel The vet? The living stones go on their summer vacation to the kennel? I thought the kennel was for pets. It is for <gasps> pets. 
The elves are leaving us there! That could be... fun? Did you not hear the part about the vet? The kennel is <gasps> his! We're going with them. Anyway, the kennel rocks. He'll love it. It's like a spa. You get groomed, brushed, bathed, mm. scratched, massaged. We mm. can't get groomed. They'll see our zippers. Wait, wait. What about the all you can eat buffet, huh? They keep a couple of big dishes of dry kibble out all day. It's not the greatest food, but it's there. Let's go. <gasps> oh. What has gotten into you, pets? Come on, guys, we're gonna be late for vacation! <laughs> ah, Mrs. Livingstone! I'll take Victoria in for her first spa treatment, but you can just drop off these first time guests in the first room for a thorough exam. Thanks a bunch. See you guys in a week! Have a great vacation! Come on, guys! Hurry up! <laughs> the doctor will be right in! We gotta think of something! If he gives us an exam, we're goners! news? Your pets have gone missing for the moment? Your naughty pets have run away momentarily. We are doing our best to deal with this inconvenience. Just a man to handle this situation. No. 
Uh, hello. Terrible that here. Hey, buddy. We spotted those wild animals over by the Livingstone's house, and we need your help. Do you still have your big game net from our college safari days? <laughs> Come on, lad. Get it. It's your only chance. <laughs> Darn. It's all over. The old chap is too scared. Why, yes, I do. I'll be right over. Nothing would make me happier than to catch those pet-eating beasts. Oh, if only I wasn't such a baby. <gasps> oh, duty is calling, Vladimir. But I... That's impossible, Velma. But you don't understand. I'm afraid, for dog's sake. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm a coward. Pull yourself together, Vladimir. You're pathetic. Do I know you? It's me, Silly Susie! Oh, uh, sorry. I'm really relaxed. You gotta help us! Animal Control have Sam Washington and Eugenie cornered, and, well, we need their costumes back where they've got us! <laughs> you, little Miss Victoria, are going home to the Living Stones. Hopefully your impressive grooming will distract them from the fact that all their other pets are missing. This is your chance, Vladimir! Be a man! And show some guts! Freeze! We've got you surrounded! You're going back to the forest! Looks like this is it, Sam. It was fun until right now, Lush. Remember that time I shoved candy up my nose and had to sneeze so bad and you guys... <laughs> And not a minute too soon. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, what's going on? came straight away when we got your message. My car! We've got to find him, Doc! But... You've got to be brave, Mrs. L. <laughs> Don't throw the nets before we see the white of their eyes! We sure had some good times together, didn't we? We sure did! Susie! Victoria saves the day. Yeah! <laughs> Quick! <laughs> the suits! The suits? <laughs> Susie, do you have the suits? Me? No, they were with you in the cage. You must be kidding. It was our very last chance. <laughs> what is so funny? <laughs> hey. It was easier to carry that way. Hey, what's happening? No. 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 Oh. <laughs> oh, thank goodness! Oh, you said they'd run away! Uh, yes, well, they did run away, but uh, this is where they ran to! Home sweet home! Looks like they were just missing you two! We, we miss, miss them, them too! I'm so <gasps> glad our kennel could bring you closer together! I hate to interrupt this happy scene, folks, but we've still got some wild animals to track and catch! Are you coming with us, Vladimir? Uh, me? Uh, <laughs> yeah, of course. Yahoo! <laughs> you know, honey? Yes, dear? Sometimes we forget just how good we have it right here at home. What would you think of a... Staycation? Exactly! What's more fun than staying right here and hanging out with our awesome pets? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> the things I do for this family. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? 
Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. confused about who we're calling. The vet. I didn't want to say it in front of the pets. You know how they hate the vet. Remember what happened last time. Oh. 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 Yeah, right. Not a good day. Uh, I have the flu. Leave me alone. You poor thing. Sorry and stuff. If I could just sneeze, I might feel a little better. Ooh, the flu? Hmm. I never get the flu. Never. Never? The second I get a sniffle, I just do an old forest anti-flu ritual, and that's it. Flu gone. Here. Hi cha, hi cha, hi cha choo. 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 Wild animals only, not for sensitive house pets like Vic. It could overtake her. You're right. Uh, Who knows what could happen? Uh, Let me think. Uh, Who? Uh, uh, oh, food. Yeah. Ah! Food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> It's the vet. Uh, the vet? Uh, yes. uh, uh, Phew! Not a good day. Susie, it's up to you. Uh, Doc? Yes? It's our cat, Victoria. I think she's got the flu. Normally, I'd bring her in, but she's just so weak. Could you possibly swing by our place and check on her? Well, keep her hydrated and watch her closely for the next couple hours. If she's not any better, then I guess I'll come right over. I should probably give the rest of your animals a once-over, too. <laughs> ew! 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 Germs! Ew! Gross! <laughs> 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 Who's ever heard of a vet being afraid of germs? Well, Doc, you do sound busy. I'll uh, keep you posted. The vet will be over very soon if Vic's not feeling better. How long do we have? Do you know? Uh, a couple of hours, I think. Or was it a few minutes? Well, one of those. And guess what? If he comes, he's checking all of us. <gasps> we got to keep him out of here. Way too risky. You mean... He could give us shots? Or clean our ears? Or use the thermometer again? Yeah. Uh, or find our zippers? Uh, <gasps> yeah, exactly. Gasp! And if that happens, we're back out in the wild. So we gotta get Vic better. Got it? Yes! yes. <laughs> Great news, Vic. 
Nurse Washington and his team are here to get you well. <laughs> this patient needs a cold cloth. Water! Water! This patient needs ice. Ice! 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 ice. Ouch! Oops. So cold! The patient needs warmth. Thank you. Well, gotta say, Vic, you look better already. Right, Sam? <laughs> Good job, guys. High fives <laughs> all around. <laughs> Does this mean we can have our food now? Oh no, Vic! You're not supposed to wrap yourself in blankets when you're sick! You'll get a fever! Ah! <gasps> Honey! Vic has gotten worse! You'd better call the vet and tell him to come over right away! Mm -hmm. No, we can't get our food now. Hello. Uh, hi, Doc. We've been watching Vic, but she's not getting any better. My wife just burned her finger on her fur. Fine. I'm coming now. He's on the way. <laughs> what to do? What to do? Ah! No. I'm here to help make the sick go away. Why don't you go away? I have something really important to say that I think will really help. Okay, here goes. If you don't get better, can I have all your yarn balls? How does that help me? I thought it would motivate you to get better. Uh, 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 if I could just sneeze. Chili peppers, of course! Mm -hmm. I mean, chili peppers to sneeze. I bet that'll clear her up. Risky, but it's our only option. Our ancient forest anti flu ritual. Well, Washington, we can't. What choice do we have? We gotta try something. The vet'll be here any second. Huh? The vet? How come nobody told me the vet was coming? I can't do the thermometer. Uh -huh. Washington, please do your forest magic. It's my only hope. Mm. Hi, cha, hi, cha, hi, cha, chew. Hi cha, hi cha, hi cha, chu. All together. Hi cha, hi cha, hi cha, chu. 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 Wow. Well, I hope he's coming soon. We have a situation right here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hey! I can breathe again! Wow! Now I won't get the thermometer thanks to you guys! <coughs> Thank goodness you're here! She's like a limp little rag! There she is, Doctor! <laughs> so, nose dryness, good elasticity, hmm, right, tongue flexibility, perfect. Is this some kind of joke? This feline is fit as a fiddle. 
<laughs> wow, you are sickly. <laughs> so sick, in fact, your fur looks almost like a costume. I better get my thermometer and take his temperature. Oh, the humanity! I'm freaking out! Glad it's not me. I just. I just. <laughs> uh, 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 Yes, yes, your dog is definitely sick. Ew, ew, gross, germs, ew. Just give it one of these every four hours. <laughs> ew, gross, ew. Forget my number. Bye, doctor. Send us the bill. What a great vet coming all the way out here. That's a professional at work. Hi, Cha. Hi, Cha. Hi, Cha. I mean, Chachu. just look at hi, Washington. Cha, hi, He's better hi, already. Chachu. Hi, Cha. Hi, Cha. Hi, Cha. Chu. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go buy a cake to celebrate. That was close. The forest anti flu ritual works every time. <laughs> 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 well, most of the time. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Soft. What is that? Ah, fantastic, honey! Oh, so soft, like an angel's embrace. <sighs> hey, don't get too comfortable. It's almost time for the movie. Now, where did I leave my purse? Oh, in the bedroom with the shoes. Like a puppy's ear. Or three-ply toilet paper. Wow, that looks really comfy. I need to try it. Wow! Oh, that is so soft. Wow, that was amazing. Found it! Ready? Oh, dream blanket. My nightmare. Come on, wake up, rise and shine. We have a movie to catch. Let's go, sleepyhead. No, oh wait, no, come on. Just five or 10 or maybe 30 minutes more, please. <laughs> oh, all right, let's go. Just hang on one second. Nice and safe, where no animal hair can touch you. Let's go! Time for a little test drive. Ugh, gotta say, this is as good as it gets. Vic, didn't you hear Mr. L? He put that blanket up there to keep us off it. He didn't mean me, silly. This is what cats do. We nap on their stuff. Mmm, really is soft. Yay! I just remembered. I'm a cat too. If she can do it, so can I. Wait, Sam. I don't think that's such a good idea. <laughs> hey, that was about to be the best nap of my life and you just ruined it. Now you've got to put this blanket back up there, genius. After my second nap, that is. to touch it with my face for a second, but it was like floating on a cloud. You're a 
our favorite pet, Victoria. For one thing, you're the cleverest. And easily the cutest. Don't tell the others. <laughs> what? What? What happened? I need it. I'm a cat too. Sam, it's my turn. <laughs> That's strange. It felt so soft on my face. Oh, wait a second, I know why. I gotta take my costume off to feel it. Sam! <laughs> yeah. So soft! Yeah. <laughs> even better than a real cat. Sam, you are smarter than all of us and the bravest, too. Don't forget the funniest. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> We love you so much, Sam. Because of you, we're the happiest humans in the whole world. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? You took your costume off? What's with you? What if somebody saw you? Wow, that was the best dream ever. And once and for all, Stay away from that blanket! Uh, uh, oh. hmm? <laughs> Here, Washington. Let me help you with that blanket. Nope. Sorry. Wish I could believe you. Uh. Look! There it is! Can we try it? Stop! I'll just wait right here until the elves get back, and they'll see that I was protecting it. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> what? You genie! Susie? What are you doing? Oh, so soft! Look! I can fly just like you! <laughs> Watch me pick up! Wow! Look, Look at the genie go. go! She can really fly! again. <laughs> oh, well, that was nice. It can't possibly be that soft. Can it? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yes. That is delicious. You're the best dog, Washington. I can't believe you're my best pal. I'm the luckiest big cat in the world. I admit it, you're way cooler than me. We love you, Wash! <laughs> hey, Washington, or should I say, man's best friend. <laughs> that means you get to eat anything you want. <laughs> you're a good dog, Washington. Good dog. Good dog! Good dog! Hmm? Ah! I had a person, you took it away from me mid-dream! And it was an awesome 
dream too! It's mine! I want it! I didn't get to have a real nap! Come on, give it! I knew what you were trying to do! You tried to take it away from me while I was sleeping! How rude! Some friends you are! What's gotten into you guys? You are a true bed hog! That's so typical of you to take a cheap shot! That's just because you're jealous of me and my bunny hopping skills! Guys! Guys! I'm the one who tried to avoid bringing the blanket down, but you had to go and ruin it for me. And now look at the mess you caused, just like a wild boar! What? How rude! This is crazy! You've all gone mad! Hey, move it, fake fox! Oh no! The living stones! Okay! That's enough! Washington! Why? We'll sit on that one. Is that clear? Wash, you're the best. You saved the day. That blanket had to go. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. but also sweet and often delicious. Here comes the uncontested Lord of the Garden. Here comes the snail. Snail, 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 snails everywhere. And in city news, there appears to be a squirrel overpopulation problem which is causing an acorn shortage. And that's making for some angry squirrels. Breaking news, everyone. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you news of Hercules, the dog who just saved a kitten from a hornet's nest. Wait, what's that? From two hornet's nests. Morse, this is one brave dog. Yes, Melody, and that's why the city has given Hercules a lifetime supply of sausages. And a hero medal, which itself is a dog biscuit. I think we can all agree that Hercules is everyone's best friend. <laughs> <laughs> and now, Melody, on to less exciting news. Sinkholes are popping up around the world. No! More about Hercules! The bravest pet ever. I want him to rescue me. <laughs> I really don't see what the big deal is. <laughs> Jealous? Jealous? Jealous of what? <laughs> Sausages! Which you'll share with me when you become a hero dog, right? Yes, yes, of course. We'll see. Oh, you think I can't be a hero dog. Fine, I'll just cross you off my friends to give extra sausages to list. 
Please, I'm all about salmon. Oh. Oh. <laughs> salmon. Ah, yes. Wait, you see this, Mrs. L? I'll save you, squirrel. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, this neighborhood has really gone to the dogs. The dumb dogs. At least he thinks I'm a dog. I'm doing something right. Help! Help me, Washington! You're the only one who can save this damsel in distress. That's cute and all, but I need something bigger. Whatever shall we do? Help! Save us, Washington! Thanks, girls, but I gotta find something that really needs saving. Huh? Lots of people around, and that nice old lady stranded in the middle of the street. Hero time! Washington! Stay away from me, huh? mongrel! Oh, sorry about that. Let me help you clean these up. Uh, uh, ah! Honey, you won't believe what just happened. He's coming! <laughs> Washington, so glad you could make it. We need a hero. Not now. There aren't any even humans around to watch me. Well, that was a bust. Wait, I've got it. Never mind. Huh? <gasps> Hero time! Arf, 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 woof, 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 arf! Look out for those! You! ignoring you, I saw Alfie and Gracie, and you know what Alfie and Gracie are, right? <laughs> Human children! The most high-value thing you can heroically save! Huh? Excuse me, I've got some hero work to do. <clears throat> I'm okay. <clears throat> but I'm really stuck! <clears throat> there, saved. Perfect! Ha-ha! Uh, remind me again why we're taking their toys? Because, Sam, 
Soon the kids will start looking for their toys. And then I'll be around to find them, and then I'll be the hero. Oh, now I get what you're trying to do. Brilliant. <laughs> Thanks. You're creating the danger by stealing the toys of two innocent little kids to fight <laughs> being a hero so you can get what you want. <laughs> Genius. Uh, wait. No, I... Uh... <laughs> I'm not so sure. <laughs> but I thought you were... <sighs> You're right, Sam. Maybe this isn't such a good idea after all. Yeah? What did I say? And what about the sausages? Yeah, <laughs> well, we're gonna have to make do with our regular pet food and table scraps, Sam. What I was doing was <laughs> wrong. Wrong? But how could it be wrong? We're talking about sausages here. Ah, very funny. That's enough teasing out of you two for one day. Thank you very much. You. <laughs> Eugenie, Susie, ah, Washington, help! Eugenie, Susie, they're falling. Ah! Wow, really? You too, Sam? And I thought we were pals. You have to go and taunt me too. Man, I gotta help them! Those woodchucks always partying. I'm coming, buddies! It's over! Hang on, friends! Wash! Wash, good job! Where's my medal? Where are the journalists? Where are my fans? Look, <laughs> Albie! <laughs> Our toy! <laughs> oh. Thanks, Thanks a lot, lot weird dog! dog. <laughs> 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 Breaking news live! Hello again, Jean Francois! It's absolutely incredible! of a toy rescuer dog. <laughs> the mayor is just about to give him the Medal of Courage for his outstanding behavior in this particularly troubled time. Congratulations, little dog. You are my hero. <laughs> well done, dog. And as a special reward, here is two tons of kibble. <laughs> Dinner time. This reward is great, honey, but couldn't they have at least packaged all this kibble? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Hmm. 
Hey, what's up? Sounds like a party going down. You, you Samba! Please don't encourage those bozos. <laughs> <laughs> go, Sammy, go! You're the best! <laughs> it's just like on TV! All he needs is the costume! Ta-da! Penny? Thank you! I can feel the spirit of Samba growing inside me! Samba, yo! <laughs> Hold on, I've got something even better. Hmm. Voila! Samantha, the queen of Samba! <laughs> Samantha! Samantha! <laughs> Enchanting. You should go outside and perform for the whole neighborhood. Yo, oh, how sweet of you, Vic. But you know, I'd much rather dance for you. What? did I ever do to deserve this? I mean, I'm terrific. Hey there, sugar paws. It's just not right. They are the ones who are supposed to go outside, not me. The biggest, dumbest doofuses in the whole forest, and they had to pick my house. <laughs> no. Fang. The one and only kitten. So what do you say to a romantic stroll through the garbage far, far away from this uptight world of fences and kibble? No thanks. Some other day, perhaps. Great. What other day? Um, how about never? Never say never, Tiger Eyes. Trust me, Fang. The word never was invented to describe me walking around in garbage with you. I just love it when you get all angry. You turn into such a wild cat. Fang, for real, get out of my face, okay? But it's uh. such a pretty face. Fang, I mean it. Well, Kitty likes to scratch. <laughs> Like a wild animal! Which is exactly what we mustn't do! We've gotta act like well behaved household pets! Which means. Well, for starters, we could cheer! Victoria! 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 Maybe we should separate them! Come on, break it up, guys! I'm gonna come back for you, Vic! We're made for each other! You're the pussycat of my. Dreams? Who are you? <laughs> Good one, Samantha. Well, hello, Samantha. <laughs> well, well, how quickly they forget. Who just saved you from the claws of Fang? Please, you really think I needed your help? <laughs> yeah. If I'm dreaming, don't wake me up. Oh, arch rival, it is on. I could drink a river. Me too. I'm thirsty just for watching. <laughs> huh? Hey, watch where you're sitting. Hiya, doll face. Not again. 
How many times do I have to say forget it? Huh? You know, your eyes light up like a thousand garbage cans, and your snout is prettier than the city dump at sunset. Hmm. I do not believe this. He really thinks Sam is Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, but I'm still thirsty. Me too! I could drink buckets! Let's check in the fridge. <laughs> Got milk? Well done, Eugenie. So, Samantha, what's it gonna be? Yes or yes? Samantha? Oh, now I get it. Listen, thing, I hate to break it to you, but... <laughs> Wait a sec, Samantha. Pretty please, play along with him. Do it for me. Yeah? Well, why should I? It's the only way that weirdo will ever leave me alone. And because we're really good friends. No, oh, that's true. We are very, very good friends, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Okay, but what exactly do I have to do? Samantha, don't send me packing. <laughs> Nick, so what should I do now? Pretend it's all a big game. You know, play hard to get. Mm -hmm. Every time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? You pretty much get it. Mm -hmm. Easy. Something, anything that says you care, baby. Yeah, she's crazy about me, Samantha. Before meeting you, I didn't know what real beauty was. My fair feline, you focused my eyes. Compared to you, other lady cats are well, tuna faces. What? That is crazy talk. You, you have the face of an angel, the fur of a tigress, lips made of velvet. Uh, Fang, remember me? to the bitter end over my beloved, let the duel begin! Wait a sec, Samantha, you wanna win her heart? A wild boar, fake boy, cat prettier than me? It's final proof, Fang is crazy. Hey, I thought you were in love with Victoria. She's kinda black compared to Samantha. You, Fang, check out your sweetie Samantha now. Uh, what is this? You took my Samantha. <laughs> the prettiest girl I ever met is gone. <laughs> Great. Now you're back to worshiping me. And I never want to see you again. Fang. Don't be upset. 
This is what you've always wanted! Me! Fang! Wait up! Remember my pretty face? Fang! Wanna explain? Well, it all started when you went off to get a drink of water. <laughs> that reminds me! I'll be right back! Gotta go real bad! Like I was saying. Uh, just a sec! Samantha? Uh, I mean, Sam? I think this is gonna take a little while. Uh, time to be! Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> Hee <laughs> <laughs>